Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another Destiny video. Guiding Light here, and my internet actually just came back. I've been gone for about a week or so due to some hurricane damage. I didn't have power, didn't have internet, but amazingly enough, it actually came back up just about two or three hours before Trials of Osiris dropped, which is pretty nice. It was a pretty rough week, but we made it through and uh, managed to actually go flawless here on Destiny 2. So here is a quick look here at some of the rewards and uh, the new social space that is related to Trials of Osiris, or Trials of the Nine rather, it was actually what it's called now, it's Trials of the Nine. And this place is pretty incredible. Definitely a lot better than the Destiny 1 Lighthouse in my opinion. Def I'm just loving this place. Everything about it is incredible. Now as you guys can see, I'm going over a bunch of little boost gates here and as you guys progress through your card, meaning like three wins, five wins, and then finally seven wins to go flawless, you will unlock uh, new platforms in order to get to the next part of the social space. So if you only get three wins or something, you can still come to the social space, you just won't be able to progress as far as you see me going here. So as you guys progress through your card, you will have access to these new teleporters, which will then bring you around throughout the social space and to the new vendors. Now this vendor is actually in like four different places at once, so you'll have all the same options and all the same rewards, it's just that as you get like five and seven wins you'll have better engram drops and higher level engram drops just depending on your light level as well. So as you guys progress through your card you'll have the chance at getting more gear. Now I ended up getting a ton of gear before even going flawless and then once you finally go flawless you'll have an actual choice. It's not like Destiny 1 where it was completely random and some people had to go like 30 times just to get the one weapon that they actually wanted. This time, you get to choose the weapon you want, so I ended up going with the sniper because in, just in general I love sniping uh, and I wanted to try that out the first before any of the other guns, so I ended up choosing the sniper. So here you guys see me here, this is the last platform that you can reach. Well, not like now this platform is the one where you'll actually be able to choose the weapon that you want, so there's an auto rifle, uh, there's a sidearm, and there's also the sniper. And of course I went with the sniper. Now this isn't the last portion of the lighthouse though, there is actually another portion here. Uh, once you go over the next platform there's a little tunnel you can drop down. But here's a quick look at the three weapons and of course you get the milestone updated as well. Now once you end up getting here, this is the flawless panel, you'll then be brought down to the next room and the next room is like the final room and where you get your final rewards. I'm definitely liking these trials weapons though, there's some incredible perks on some of these weapons where you can actually slide to reload part of your clip, which is pretty uh, useful in trials, you know, you do slide a lot, so you can shoot like 5 or 6 shots, then slide around a corner or just get out of a gunfight and you'll actually reload without actually having to do it, which is really going to be pretty helpful. I'm definitely going to start using these trials weapons in the next card that I run just to test them out and see how good they are in the actual trials of the, nun of the 9. But here's the final room of the lighthouse, guys. This place is incredible. I couldn't even believe how amazing this place looked when I first got here. It was just so great. And uh, as you approach this person, you will then be brought to another reward screen. There's just tons of rewards. This time, you get to choose your piece of gear instead of your weapon. So I got, I got the chest piece before, so I would imagine that there'd be three options. But because I already had the chest piece on, it didn't actually give me the option. I just ended up getting it as a drop from one of the engrams that I got, so it wasn't here. So there's the bond here, and there's also the gauntlets. All the gear looks incredible on the Warlock. I'm not sure about the other characters, I haven't exactly gone flawless on those yet. But for the Warlock, these are just absolutely incredible looking pieces of armor. And I'm definitely looking forward to getting the full set. So here's a quick look at the gauntlets and the bond. I ended up going with the, uh, with the gauntlets. And you also get the emblem as well. And you get the aura if you didn't already have that from a Nightfall or something. You get the ninth aura as well, which is pretty nice. Now I'm not really sure if you can go and get a Scarab Emblem or anything like that like in Destiny 1. All that's still kind of up in the air at this point. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this first look uh, at the lighthouse here on my channel. I'll definitely be trying to help you guys go flawless as well throughout the next couple weeks. I just want to make sure I got my first character out of the way. And once I have a pretty good understanding of how Trials works and you know how the maps play out, I will definitely be doing carries and helping all you guys flawless just like I did in Destiny 1. So if you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like. This is the first look at the lighthouse here on the channel. And I will be back later tonight, either on Twitch, trying to help you guys, if not tomorrow. So hopefully you guys do end up checking out the Twitch. That's where I'll be doing most of my carries at. So I will leave a link to that down in the description if you guys are interested. Other than that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. And uh, good luck out there if you guys are going into trials. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.